Alrighty guys, thank you guys for stopping in. So on the, yesterday we ended up finishing our corn planting. Last year we planted 30 inch beans and we just felt like we didn't have enough to do so we wanted to do 15 inch beans but we don't have a 15 inch planter. So we're just gonna double pass them on. We're like, it's not that many acres. Well now it is. <laughs> so we thought we'd add a little more work to us. But anyway, when we planted uh, with the finger pickups, there's 12 fingers in it. And when you go to soybean cups or brush meters we have, it's uh, 60. So whatever the population is, you multiply by five. So last year we did single pass. Our population was fine. Well, this year, double pass, you had to cut it in half because you're going over the ground twice. Well, needless to say, in this area, we did not have the right sprockets. Back before planting, I didn't check it because I thought it would be fine. I bought this sprocket, and I had to buy an 18 tooth sprocket, and I brought the wrong pitch. Well, guess what I need now? is this 18 tooth sprocket see everything happens for a reason it mm. just takes a while god's timing and so here's the 18 tooth sprocket i need to drive and i can still use this one i just cut it off Soybeans going in the ground. We're gonna let him go about 100 feet or so. Then we're gonna dig, see if our depth's good and our spacing. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I can be someone else. Inch and a half deep. We're planting beans, and let me tell you, it is a long, 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 and long process. So, as you can see, we are planting beans behind us here. Just back and forth. We plant about five miles an hour. I'm under parent supervision, don't worry. So, this is the first time I've gotten to run the planter this year. My dad planted all the corn this year because I had to go to my day job. And, well, let's just say, my day job ain't as forgiving as his is when it comes to missing days. Hey, while you were supervising me, I tried filming in the tractor, showing them like what all <laughs> had happened, and it was a living nightmare. 
I filmed. I filmed them and showed them in this same field how rough it was with the 1486 and the 986. Yeah, it's it's you can't do it, especially when you have to run, especially when we're double planting. It's just like there's a lot going on. Yes, and I explained to them how we hand steer everything we do. There's no auto steer involved. Well, I told them the auto steer was this. Yeah. Are we working late tonight to beat the rain? Uh, I don't know how late we're going to work, but I would like to get all this bottom planted. Which is basically everything that we tilled. Well, it won't be everything left that we have tilled, but it'll be everything that takes a long time to dry out. We did all this work so that it would dry out and we could plant it. So, yes, if it's going to rain some and get wet again, yeah, I want to get it planted because we did all the work to have it dry and yeah. Rain, yeah and it it seems like it's worked there's there's some spots that won't ever get dry because there's springs in it over there but i think all in all we did basically what we wanted to do oh this is a massive change of scenery i don't know you guys probably ain't gonna be able to see it yet but it's it's raining outside and now it's raining so everything's put up seeds tenders put up planters put up we're calling it a day we've well I personally have been up till 11 every week this week and it's Saturday working and my dad has been up at, up till 11 every day working and he's also gotten up at 5 almost every morning so like I said earlier don't feel bad for us we choose to do this it is just reality so we are gonna go inside Saturday night Saturday night and we're not going out to eat or do anything fancy we're going to rest and it's like a chilly nice chilly damp high 40s degree day i don't know it's like maybe in the low 50s with us having all this liquid fertilizer stuff on the planter it is extremely heavy and we only have one cylinder on there that lifts it up and last year we experienced if you put too much on there the planter ain't going to lift up and then we backed up with the planter in the ground and it twisted our seed farmers around up in the opening wheels and we learned from experience put it that way we were going to fix that this year and we talked to this company they were going to give us two cylinders one that goes on each side of the planter and it works with the cylinder in the middle and they raise up together so it'd be three cylinders on the thing and they gave us these brackets that we have to wield on the frame and all that and they make them point being is the company failed at counting how many weeks it's going to take to get them here they said two, it took like five. We just now got them. It's actually not even a new product. It's a used product that they gave to us because it took them so long and that we got for half price. With all that being said, you guys are gonna be with my dad today because I have to go mow a yard for a neighbor because we've been planning all week and I haven't had time to go do it. And it's getting quite tall. Are you prepared to take on the enormous amount of the pressure of the camera? No. You're not? I hope they send instructions. Is this instructions? Did they send them instructions? They did, because we're going to Are you about done yet? No. Here's our instructions. It's about three steps. Yeah, bolt brackets on. Oh, I know what it is. Mount cylinders, road hey, hoses. So you know like how on like cars, they show your RPMs and you're supposed to time, times them times 1,000. So if it's one, it's times 1,000, so it's 1,000 RPMs. Mm -hmm. This is a rate of like times 100, so it's three times 100 equals 300 steps. They left out a few steps. Just a few. They just forgot to put like the times number. Stalling process is crap. I don't know if you can see, yeah, I bet you guys can even see, but right and there were that two runs, there's two nuts right there, and there's no way to get a wrench on them from the front side. And on the back side in there, my dad got a swivel on. Swivels are not that deep. 
so they didn't reach up on the socket all the way, so he rounded the nuts off a little so bit. So you got, you can't even get a wrench on all of them. You can't get a wrench from the front side, and you can only use the box, the end of a wrench. And you can't even hardly get that on there. Oh no, the wind is, the wind is taking our instruction packet. We can't lose that. We won't know what to do. We are in tractor heaven here. I mean, there's tractors everywhere. We're on our second road trip this weekend. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope they enjoy it. Remember, faith, family, farm. See you in the next one.